Remind me why we are doing this in the woods at 11.30 again, I asked, shining my flashlight on my friend Raven, who stood in front of me. After a moment, she responded, That's so no one can see us. Never in my life had I thought I'd be doing some strange ritual in the woods, but here I was. I suppose maybe I should slow down and tell you about myself and why I'm here. My name is David, and I'm just an average kid, average grades, average weight, average height, nothing special. Didn't even try to make friends, more like they didn't want to be friends with me. I never fit into any cliques. I mean, it's kind of degrading when even the nerds don't want to be your friend. And then I turned 15 and I met Raven. She was, well, the typical goth. Pale, dark makeup, skull t-shirts, basically someone most people would avoid, yet she was the only one who ever talked to me. And we became friends. We exchanged numbers, we talked every day. My mom was happy because I was finally socializing. At this point, she didn't even care if whoever I was talking to was a 67-year-old man. At least it was something. Over the years, Raven and I, we had gained a mutual trust. We told each other our most hidden secrets. I told her how I was secretly bisexual, and she told me about her mom and how she never knew her and how she left a long time ago and how her dad was mean and broke my heart. Let's fast forward, shall we? Today she told me she had something to show me after school. School passed, and I met her on the school lawn. That's when she showed me a book. Very thin and old looking. On the cover were five words. How to summon an angel. I opened it. It had about three pages, all printed with big, bold black letters. Except for the last page, which is blank. It read, Do you wish to summon an angel to do your very bidding? Well, congratulations, you came to the right place. Here is the ritual to do so. Step one, collect three items, a maple leaf, a bird feather, and your favorite item you own. Step two, draw a circle anywhere using anything. Step three, place the maple leaf and your favorite item in the circle and put the feather in your pocket. Step four, place your hand in the middle of the circle and focus. No words, just focus on summoning your angel forth. After that, there's the blank but last page. I closed the book. Raven, where did you get this? I asked. She looked down. I bought it online. Raven, you can't be serious. David, I want you to come with me tonight to summon the angel, she told me. My eyes widened. Raven, you can't be serious. And listen, this is just, this is ridiculous. It's an angel, not a demon. And angels are supposed to help people, right? I just... What if I could get my mother back, she said, interrupting me. Sat still for a second. So this is what it was about, her mom. I sighed, fine, Raven. And now I was here, in the middle of the woods and regretting it. I was cold, I really regretted not bringing my thicker jacket, and I was covered in mosquito bites. I heard Raven humming a song to herself as we reached a creek in the middle of the woods. All right, this is a good spot, Raven said. Getting on her knees, she slid the backpack off her back which she wore, unzipping it, dropping it accidentally, and spilling its contents onto the ground. The book had to summon an angel, a maple leaf, a bird feather, and another book, Gulliver's Travels. It was the book I got her last year. Was that her favorite possession? She looked up at me and smiled. She drew a circle in the soft dirt by the creek. I leaned forward and quickly picked up How to Summon an Angel. Examining it, it just seemed like a regular book. I noticed my friend putting the maple leaf and Gulliver Travels in a circle, and placing her hand in the circle. Then she closed her eyes. Tears started welling up. Why? Why was she doing this? She'd be heartbroken when this didn't work. As these thoughts crossed my mind, I was hit with a chill. I felt like I was hit with the literal chill of winter. I looked around me as I felt a strong gust of wind. Leaves were kicked up around me, heard thunder, and my flashlight, which was still on, began to flicker on and off. What the hell was happening? This... Th this wasn't right. The book that held the ritual slipped out of my hand, hit the ground, flipping open. I quickly snatched it up, then stopped. Back page. There were pieces of it flaking off. I began scratching at it with my finger. It was some sort of whiteout. Whatever it was, it had been placed there purposely to hide something. It took me a minute to scrape it all off, and that's when I saw something that shook me. Warning. Do not place your right hand in the circle. If you place your right hand in the circle, you will summon a demon, not an angel. As soon as I read the last words, the wind stopped. All was calm, and then I felt something, something behind me. I hope to God she didn't put the wrong hand in.